Tell me about it. You guys need to hold still so I can shoot you. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. How do I tactically retreat? Finally, they managed to quit. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. No joke. Good. Googling movie. Stand and fight, you coward! I ran ahead as if the devil himself was out of me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I shot him. He's getting away! Uh, yeah, we call this elbows and assholes. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. I don't know. Payday? A dead man! I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven. I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Headshot! That Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. And he would know. Get rid of the remaining enemies on your way to the old man. Oh, I gotta go back? I accidentally picked up a shotgun. I thought, oh. There's a... And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. G to throw. That stroke of good fortune even the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunter to become the hunter. Time. Oh, All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. Need my long rifle again. All right. I came at them like a wildcat. My no. fury knew no bounds. I snuck up. It's some bitches. <laughs> Get out here, you coward! Surprise is taking three shots. <laughs> Take him down! Hey, he's supposed to be dead. That was a long shot. Supposed to be throwing dynamite. Need to try and get my long rifle back. Get out here! Let's see, it says four hey, and then run.
you're gonna keep coming up to me, aren't they? I hear water dripping. Carl's bad cavern. Anybody got any ammo on you? Get rid of the remaining enemies on your way to the old man. Okay. So yeah, basically we're shooting bad guys on the way. Oh, I see something up there. There's a hat. How do I get my hat? It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Huh? All out of dynamite. Uh-oh. Crank! Cantanker! Lean as hell, old man Clanton. Hey look, it's JD. Okay. I yelled out at the top of my lungs, Clanton! I'm coming for you! Get to the hot top of A little the stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> because that old fool had a Gatlin gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. <laughs> not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Around behind him. I'll one? blow you right out of there. Just kill him for Christ's sake.
pick up some damn damn Stop your hiding from me! Did, yeah, didn't I? Cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps, and that little misunderstanding Earp. eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. It's a Accuracy 74%. Weapon of choice. A few weeks after that hey, dust up at the right. OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. Loaded for bear. Good thing I'm not a bear. Hmm. Make a sneak up on him. Woo! Coming down at an angle, that's no good. Can I sneak up on him? Can I do a headshot? I, I need the extra point. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, <laughs> Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. They think I'm Herb? Not good. This doesn't look safe. Come on, someone to kill him. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. Somebody 
somebody right there. What are you, yellow? See him? Somebody kill him! So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. for the high ground if possible. Somebody right there. Well kill him! <laughs> headshot long shot. Whoa. Somebody else is doing headshot long shot. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. Right. Pistol ammo. Die for Christ's sake! I'm trying to see if I can get I got a bullet with your name on it, boy. Rifle ammo. I'm sick of dealing with you. Oh, yeah? You're sick of dealing with me, huh? Die, damn it! I'm trying to sneak up on him. Anybody else shooting at me, so I guess I can go around and start collecting some ammo. Rifle ammo. Good place to save it if the game ever saves you. New territory. 